start again. <coughs> start it again. Agenda item 7J is the Lambs County Juvenile Accountability Court FY24 Enhancement and Innovation Board. Justin, sweet welcome, sir. Good morning. 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 Received the ten thousand four hundred dollar sub grant to pay uh, all that goes to our treatment provider. So we have a treatment provider actually one block north of here at Webster, Ashley Street, and they're doing a really good job supporting you. And they do the counseling piece, but they're also doing the nutrition piece and tutoring and helping the students move to their school online. So it's been a really good time to help us. There. So we're uh, asking for the sub grant to pay for the mental health center, which is a treatment provider for the county. Any questions? J Judge, I have just a question in the document. I noticed it said uh, those who are 17 years of age tend to have a challenge to completing the program because of time constraints. Right. Uh, what are their options or anything we can do on our end? Because I, I know 17, you can really go into the workforce uh, shortly thereafter. So is there anything that we could do or what options do we have? Through the court, our options end when the, they have their birthday. So the, the challenge would be once they enter the program, if they are 17, it really takes more than six months, say 12 months, to complete the substance abuse problems and things go along with why they end up in court. So that's the problem, is the time. So they will graduate out of the court on that birthday. And so we could, um, I mean, what they need is they need support across the board. So they're in, they're in court as a juvenile. They have home life problems. They have stability with education. They have truancy problems. They have substance abuse problems. They have mental health problems frequently. So all those gaps, they need help, and that's, that's the challenge. We, if, when we see them, they're usually about 14 years old. That's the bulk of our community that we're serving in juvenile court. So we lose the ability to, to ask them to do things when they, when they become an adult. So if you, could, if you could find community resources to pick them up from there, that would be outstanding. The difficulty is the, the, the voluntary participation. Right? That's what I was thinking. I just didn't know if there was any other options. Uh, uh, the community is blessed with a lot of, with a lot of uh, nonprofits. And we, we do have a lot of nonprofits that, you know, that their mission is to help the community, the youth in the community, so we can coordinate, connect to those people. Appreciate it. That's a good idea. I was just thinking, because I, I know when you're 17, you get ready to actually graduate, and then you're going to be going into the workforce. And if you haven't completed the program, uh, you know, there's something to talk about. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Thank you all for supporting us very much.